Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Uh, I got a couple of uh, pretty cool updates that I'm gonna release soon. I have had lots of inquiries about certain things and I'm going to expand my business to accommodate the requests for these things. So uh, there will be an update video uh, probably tomorrow or the next day letting you guys know what I've decided to do. Uh, but this this video specifically is one of the untold truth and detailing uh, videos. Um, so I have shot videos before and explained to you what I wear uh, when I'm detailing. But since we're coming into summer and I've had probably 10 of the same question in the past few days uh, as far as, you know, how do I stay out of the sun? You know, do I do I bring a canopy? Um, do I use a gazebo? Uh, that kind of thing. And I, I figured I would shoot a video just because not everybody who's uh, a follower now was a follower when I shot the other videos. Uh, but I specifically want to talk about uh, what I wear when I'm detailing uh, out in the, the hot Florida sun and I also want to let you guys know that no, I don't. I don't bring a gazebo. The, the first reason is I don't need to. I don't feel the need to to lug around a big gazebo. Um, but really, it takes a lot of time to set it up and take it down. And if you recall from past videos, I mentioned uh, limiting my liability a lot and putting up a metal structure around a vehicle potentially is very dangerous. Uh, high winds can, I mean, even if you got it staked down, a high gust of wind could lift a leg up and it could smack into a car. I like to limit my liability as much as possible. Uh, that way I don't potentially have to uh, fork over mo money for damages that, um, you know, I should have never had in the first place uh, if I would have just limited my liability. So anyway, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Uh, I do not carry around a gazebo when I do mobile work and that's really most of what I do now uh, is mobile stuff. I'm very busy with my other businesses and I'm very business with very busy with the product line at this time. Um, you know, we're going into spring. Um, Lots of people are jumping on board. It's awesome, and I want to just say I appreciate you guys uh, for giving me the opportunity to earn your business and to be the guy that supplies you with the products and supports them like no other. Uh, but anyway, so I don't carry around a gazebo. Uh, I will have a customer park in a shaded area if I can have them do that. Here's the biggest problem. If they park in a shaded area, the trees a lot of times, especially in Florida this time of year, are dropping like random leaves and other debris, uh, bugs and that kind of thing, and it, it gets in my way. Uh, I would rather do work in direct sunlight. I know that sounds crazy, but as far as using products, I only use my own products from DetailJuice.com, and all of you guys know that... I live in Tampa, Florida, so everything in my line is designed to work in direct sunlight under high heat uh, and, and humidity um, situations. So there's no issue using any of my products in direct sunlight. That's a pretty amazing situation. So if the products that you're using aren't awesome in direct sunlight, you may want to switch to my line at DetailJuice.com. That's just an option to you. I'd appreciate it. That would be awesome. If I can help you with that, 813-846-4406. But the reason I'm shooting this video specifically is I use, uh, I actually have just one of my regular t-shirts on today, uh, but I use these Sport Tech. Um, I have them, I have my business information on them, but I use these Sport Tech long sleeve moisture wicking. It's the Posi Charge Competitor T. Um, go ahead and show you this. Uh, this is what it is. Sport Tech Men's Long Sleeve Posi Charge Competitor T. They're like $9 a piece. You can see the guys wearing one. You can get them in a variety of different colors. I happen to always order the lime ones. They have purple, they have black, they have any color you want. And then you can also have your information put on them by a uh, t-shirt shop or even I could do that for you if you want 
Um, I can order the tees. I can uh, use my high-end vinyl uh, machine, which I have there, buried in junk. Uh, or not, I'm sorry, this is a heat press. That's the vinyl machine. But anyway, uh, if you guys want something like that, let me know. I can help you out with that. Um, I can tell you right now, I can do low quantities, whereas if you go into a t-shirt shop, they're going to want you to order 36 or more shirts generally, so the cost is crazy. So if you want, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shirts, I can do that for you, no problem. We can do these, put your logo on it. Anyway, contact me if you want that kind of situation. But if you just want to get a shirt that matches your business color, I would highly recommend going on Amazon.com and buying these Sport Tech Men's Long Sleeve Posi Charge Competitor Tees. They're amazing. It's like having an air conditioner on. Uh, the I believe they're about 50 SPF, which is pretty awesome. So the sun won't come through. I wear long sleeves. I mean, and I'm, I'm bald, which leads me to the other situation that I'll get to in a second. But anyway, these are awesome. I've been using them for years. Um, the shirt quality is pretty awesome. Uh, they fit really nice. They feel silky and comfortable. Uh, and again, they're moisture wicking. So the the moisture is basically wicked out by the material. So they're pretty awesome. So that's what I use when I'm detailing, uh, well, pretty much any time, any day. Look at any of my videos and you'll see that I have one of these shirts on. So even the short sleeve ones that I have are this exact same t-shirt, but the short sleeve version. Um, I, I like the long sleeve version because I've been silly with my skin for years, uh, especially since I got to Florida nine years ago. About three or four years ago, I started wearing these shirts and covering up my full arms. I don't want skin cancer, um, you know. So anyway, just an idea for you. This is what I wear. They work amazing. That's my recommendation. $9 and some change on Amazon.com. The next thing that I want to mention is I don't know if you'd call this a boonie hat or whatever you'd call it. It may look silly to you, doesn't matter to me. It keeps the sun out of my face and off of my neck and it aids in, I mean the biggest thing is my bald head, you know, keeping the sun off that. So if you're out of the sun, which these two things will do for you, uh, you're staying cooler you're um, taking better care of your skin, and uh, it's just gonna be a more pleasant detailing experience. This particular hat I also got on Amazon, I believe it was $13, $12. But this is it, I'll show you guys that real quick. That's the exact same thing, you can see that I purchased this one uh, August 26th of 16. It's called the Camo Call Outdoor Sun Cap Camouflage Bucket Mesh boonie hat so that's what i use again twelve dollars if you're on amazon prime no big deal i like it it is also the moisture wicking type so uh it does a great job of um it has a mesh deal right here this area so it pulls the moisture away from your head it's adjustable i believe it's one size fits all this particular one, yeah, it's a one size fits all thing. Uh, but with this adjustable strap, it works really well. Um, you can adjust it to whatever size noggin you have. Just um, grab the deal there and tighten it up. And then there's one here that, you know, if you are moving your head a lot or even if you're um, in the wind, like if I'm on my boat, I always use this strap right here so that while I'm getting it, on the water, um, my hat doesn't fly off. So, just something to think about. You know, again, it's no benefit to me whether you use this stuff or don't use this stuff. I'm sending you to Amazon to get the stuff, but I'm just telling you because people are asking me, how do I stay stay cool or you know out of the sun on a hot summer day? And these two items help me a lot. I wear flip-flops, I generally wear, my, my uniform is these two items, just random black basketball shorts and croc flops every single time. It may not be as uh, professional as having on a polo shirt with my embroidered name and all that stuff and some khaki shorts, 
I don't care about that and neither do my customers. What matters is that I'm, co I'm comfortable so that I can do the best job possible for that customer. I can tell you if I'm in incredibly uncomfortable, sweating to death, if I'm burning up in the sun, I'm not gonna do as good a job as I would if I were not uncomfortable. That's just how people are. That's just how humans are. That's how your body is. That's just how it is. You can't focus on doing the best job that you could do for your customer if you are incredibly uncomfortable. Bottom line. Um, as far as uh, crock flops go, uh, I usually buy a pair per season. I just bought these the other day. Obviously the lime green and the gray. All of this stuff goes together. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Yay! Anyway, um, crock flops, you can get them in different colors, combinations, whatever. Lime is my thing, you guys know that, so that's why I use those. They're incredibly comfortable. Um, if you're going to be up on top of an RV or whatever, you might want to opt for something else if you're concerned about, you know, the slippery surface and that kind of thing. But anyway, I love mine. Uh, if I get my feet wet, it's not a problem. I don't wet my shoes. Uh, I, I don't wear tennis shoes anymore. I do have a pair of Speedo shoes, uh, which I'll show you. Uh, probably moving into the fall. Um, anyway, I got them on Amazon as well. I think they were 35 bucks. They're pretty awesome. Anyway, they're water shoes. They're made for water, but they have a nice sole on them so that they have decent traction. Um, but anyway, in the summertime, this is my outfit, period. Um, I got to be comfortable to do a good job. And so my clients know that. And anybody who tells you anything other than what I just told you, either doesn't have the experience, which is mostly the case on the internet. These random idiots have no clue what they're talking about. But beyond that, they haven't experienced being in the sun enough to have done the research to figure out what's best for you. I can tell you over years, I've been in Florida for nine years. Prior to that, I was in Virginia for, you know, a lot more years than that. And in the summertime there, I was even, um, you know, I wore long sleeve shirts, but they were cotton. Uh, so anyway, having to do a different situation here in Florida, um, I ended up finding these moisture wicking shirts. And um, when the technology in the shirts first came out, I think you know the big companies were doing it, but they were crazy expensive. As soon as I found these tees, um, life was different. I'm more comfortable. It's just awesome. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I hope this helps you. Uh, again, if your products don't work in direct sunlight, then you need to find products that do. And working in direct sunlight makes you extremely versatile. You can work anywhere. So if you make yourself comfortable out in direct sunlight, you can better service your customers because you are comfortable. But beyond that, you can work anywhere. There's no limit to the jobs you can take and where you can take them, which is considerable uh, benefit, especially if you're trying to make money, which is what we're trying to do here. So anyway, if you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406. It's another edition of the Untold Truth in Detailing. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.